many of us, I'm sure you're feeling it. Business is hard. And now more than ever, you need to have a plan to help your business not just survive, but thrive. And it can happen as simply with thinking with the end in mind. I'm Marcia Reiner. I'm a business growth strategist. I've helped tons of small business owners to establish and implement a tangible plan that guarantees increased profitability, guides your growth, and plans for a future exit. Because a business worth selling is also a business worth owning. And I want to share strategies that I've earned and learned with you on today's Profit with a Plan podcast. But before we get started, I have something to share with you. I put together an insightful Think Outside the Box masterclass. This 15-minute training has been specifically designed to help you learn how to grow your business two times, three times, or even 10 times the revenue and the value of your firm, so you're in a great position to sell it someday on your terms. So just register for free at www.10xyourfirm.com. All right, I'm really excited to have my guest on today. Chelsea Roney is, uh, brings her business building and strategy experience to Proxy, where she serves as the COO and leads a team of five, growing the business through sales and marketing. After graduating from Texas A&M, Chelsea joined Boeing, where she worked in financial planning and analysis, and then Microsoft, where she worked in a demand center that focused on B2B omnichannel marketing. She grew uh, and sold two businesses, a SaaS business in the university space and a local service business. So she's got the, she's got the information for us. Chelsea is also an active member of her community, a dedicated parent, and a passionate supporter, yay, of women and business. Chelsea, welcome to Profit with a Plan podcast. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Okay, so how in the world did you come in line with, you know, um, location-based marketing and math <laughs> technology? Yeah, I'll give you the background. So my co-founder has been a longtime friend of mine. We're, we go back about a decade to our time in undergrad at Texas A&M University. After we graduated, we both ended up here in the Seattle area. Um, and so we remained friends. And a lot of our friendship was predicated on talking about business. We both love chatting about the, you know, what's you know, the news in business and how we could solve people's problems. We actually started a QR peer-to-peer -peer payments company that didn't take off. Um, but we always said that the next project or the next idea that we had that we were really convicted about that we would go full time on together. And so we, um, we ended up starting Proxy and it was all born out of a Halloween trick or treat map in the uh, October of 2020. Um, Melinda's background is actually in geospatial mapping. She spent some time in a US intelligence agency producing Ooh. geospatial maps for people in the field. So she had the technical expertise in this subject matter to solve a problem. So what happened the first Halloween of the pandemic was that parents wanted to create a safe trick-or-treat experience for their kiddos. And she, um, there was this thread on Facebook and her neighborhood Facebook group. And the thread said something like, uh, put your address here. If you're providing pandemic safe trick-or-treat options, like leaving your candy outside or making one of those candy shoots where you sent contactless candy down a little pipe. Oh. How fun. And so, yes. And so she, having this geospatial visualization background, saw this list of a couple of hundred addresses. And she was like, now this just doesn't make sense, right? Because humans don't operate uh, in the world um, when they look at a list. They don't operate well when they look at a list. They need this uh, data for geospatial to be visualized on a map because that's how our brains think is in terms of proximity is in terms of place in terms of distance and so when she saw this list of addresses she turned it into a map she visualized this list of addresses it ends up going viral 2,500 people add their homes to the map and she wow. we get on good morning america and it's just <gasps> this this really fun story and so 
from that, we she kept getting requests to resurface this whole mapping idea. And she gave me a ring um, during this whole process. And we, we've been talking like 24 hours a day since that phone call. I can imagine and just all the yes. excitement going back and forth. And oh, what if we did this? And what if we did that? Yeah. Oh, exactly. And so what we ended up discovering was that there was not a crowdsource, crowdsourceable mapping tool available back in 2020 and not even today, except for proxy. And so we ended up creating this, this mapping software where anyone can add points to a map where you can send it to your family or friends or business can engage an audience, but everyone can add points to a map. And so that's one of our defining features today is the fact that our maps are crowdsourceable and you can participate with your friends on creating a map. Um, yeah, so that's how we, that's our origin wow. story and how we got started. I love it. I love it. And, and what do you do? Two talented women. And I know you have children and does, does, um, do. does your partner have children as well? Right. So yeah, now she has creative, moms, yes. creative yeah. moms can make anything out of a block of wood. Right. So <laughs> it, that's yes. what it takes today to have, um, that kind of business sense come out of the need and creativity of mom. So I love that idea. It's a crazy what? story. And, you know, we, yeah. I sold my other business to work on proxy full time. And she actually dropped out of her PhD program at the University of Washington to work on it full time. So um, it's been a wild few months. Yeah, I can imagine. And born out of a toxic time with COVID now that you've got this, this thing going. Right. So it's interesting that you did it for trick or treating and now you're doing it for, you know, like um, restaurant recommendations and hey, you should yeah. go check out this park over here or things like that. Right. How would we relate that whole idea of location based advertising? For our businesses, if we're a mom and pop or a brick and mortar or a dentist or an attorney or, you know, what have you. So totally. So almost I've, we have found that almost anyone can, has a use for a, a map. Any business has use for a map, I, whether it's uh, internal use or external use. So a company or, or a person like an attorney um, can actually use our map to um, visualize case evidence that has a, that has happened using a proxy map, uh, and it went well. Um, so that's good. That's cool. uh, for things like sales teams, you know, you can map out like sales dinner spots or prospective clients or. If you're creating a portfolio, like I owned a landscape installation company, you could create a map of your portfolio work and feature those pictures and things like that. So um, there's a use for any business. Wow, that's really creative to think about, um, you know, sales territories or prospecting territories right. that you'd like to block out. John, you go over here, Sue, you go over here. And yep. then that way there's nothing falling through the gaps. But I love the idea with the attorney to be able to roll out his case as to where proximity things that happened along the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Love that. That's super creative. See, again, it takes a creative mom that can put all these things together. Um, how do, how do you relate or how could we compare that to like something like, you know, Google Maps that is so common right now that, right. I mean, I even got hit up. So I run my, I run my practice out of my, out of my home location. So I don't really have yep. a storefront, but Google hit me up and said, Hey, we need to get your address on the site. How does that work? Well, um, for Google, I mean, I think Google needs that just to build up their um, their database for actually um, companies like us who do call on Google APIs um, to, to make our maps, to power our maps, basically. So if you were to provide your location information there, then there are specific um, calls that are that the APIs can make uh, such that we can fetch that data from Google and include it in our interface. So I think Google's asking I'm sure they're asking for a number of reasons. Oh, including they are. Trying they to make are. I money just wondered, off of you, but um, yes, of course, yeah. of course. But I love the idea of being able to, um, 
you know, put your put your business on the map in a way sure. that using that that kind of even the crowd force mapping or the location based mapping, because advertisers, when they're looking for the customer, oftentimes they're saying, oh, I want a bakery near me or I want an attorney near me or I'm looking for a landscaper near me. And then that comes to play for the business owner to be able to pop up higher on their ranking if they're located on a map. That's right. And so, you know, the point of, uh, so kind of turning gears toward proxy, like our goal is to enable people to create maps and then put their business on the map if they so wish amongst other map points. So mm -hmm. for instance, like a boutique hotel or a short-term rental owner may add their property to the map and feature it, but then they might also add businesses in the area that they also have relationships with. So you may add all of your recommendations for other professional services in your area. And then when people ask you for recommendations, you're able to send them that map, if that makes sense. But sure. really proxy was um, developed with location-based conversion in mind. So someone like a short-term rental owner can provide all of these recommendations about local businesses to their guest, and then proxy services analytics to that map creator and enables them to make money off of their map because they can then turn to the businesses they've put on their map and say, hey, I've got 10,000 people that look at this map on my blog. I can feature you as a point on this map. Um, or something like this in exchange for a fee. And so eventually we'll have those tools inside of proxy and we're working toward that actively now, but we're trying to enable like a local business owner or someone who can provide location-based recommendations uh, to make money on their, their local expertise and in their recommendations uh, because we do have that data on conversion. I love it. I love it. I think it's super important that, that we should all have that kind of information. Um, and if we're working with partners in the area, so if you're a realtor and you have listings of your homes or yeah, or you want to say, okay, so here's the title company I use and here's the escrow company I use and here's yes. my business in relation to those things. It's, it's, not a sneaky way, but it's an, it's an alternative way or a complementary way to get your business found as well. Yes. Yes, exa you're exactly right. And that's exactly how we foresee it being used. Now, shortly, Proxy will also become a discovery platform. So you log into our site and you're able to have these maps surface to you based on your interests, based on the data that you provide us to um, receive recommendations for maps to view uh, that may be of interest to you. So if like you log it. in and you're sitting like me in Seattle, I might want to know the Seattle Chamber of Commerce's, or I might want to see their map of local things to go do, but I might also want to see a local influencers map of things to go do. So these maps will start to flow in. You'll be able to search for them, discover. Ideally, uh, there would be businesses that are map influencers, if you will. So people who have a lot of expertise in a local area that people are really excited to look at their map. I love it. I love it. So when we're doing these maps, um, uh, even if we're using, even if we're using it as a tool to go out and enjoy the neighborhood and enjoy sure. the community and the things like that, yeah. if we have keystone spots that are recognizable on it, like the corner deli that we know is there and it's very much recommended, um, sure. we can add them to the list and then it becomes a little bit more exciting for uh, the yeah. person coming through the town to know to hit that one or the bookshop that That's has exactly right. a really funky feel to it or you know so you just you can I mean the ideas are limitless right mm -hmm. on what you can mm -hmm. do with these and maps. that's the power of local knowledge and there's a term out there called uh, volunteered geographic information. And so okay. that, that just means like someone's local knowledge of the area visualized on a map. And so the, this relates right back to what you're saying, because if you create a map of your local area and you say, I love this record store, it's a mom and pop shop. 
you know, I love the owners named X, Y, and Z. And then I would go from there and stop at this little coffee shop next door for this menu item. Being able to describe um, the details of why you love a place Mm -hmm. and put that info on a map is so powerful for both your local community and the people visiting it. I love it. I love it. And I could see, well, here in Southern California, driving is a pain in the butt. I mean, 100%, no, no questions about it. It's a pain in the butt. So I could imagine that someone um, going to a sporting event has a, uh, a direct road that they could take that, you know, avoid some of the traffic to that select parking lot that nobody knows about, right? Or, you know, you're parking yep. downtown at a Dodgers game or something and you, you know, just little ideas or, or even stops along the way that you could go. I think it would be really helpful to have that kind of information available that you share with your friends. But You've if I'm sharing it. with my friends, would I be able to share with everybody at the same time? So um, that's a great question. So today you can quite easily share the map with uh, whoever you want to, however you want to. So you can share it with a small audience just by texting them the link or emailing it to them. You can share it with a bit bigger of an audience by like maybe putting the link to the map in your link in bio or in an email or something like this. And eventually, as soon as our lab app is launched, you can mark your map as public if you want more people to see it. If you don't want the public to see it, of course, you would keep it private and publicize it to whomever you want to uh, internal to your network. I love it. I love it. Well, we know that the Proxy is a fantastic company, startup, just growing with some really unique yeah. ideas on it. But I think the whole purpose of, of this conversation, besides talking about the fantastic opportunity with Proxy and location maps, is how today's business owners might want to get on, quote, the map and be seen a little bit more because I know those near me things, those near me shopping, uh, when you're putting that information into your local uh, or your favorite um, uh, search engine, um, they pop up things that are, that are written correctly. And I think it's really important as a concept, not a how to and what you should do, but I think as a concept, all businesses should really truly get on the map by advertising or at least making all of the free opportunities to list your location, including maps like proxy. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. Um, I've been an owner of several businesses and every time, um, you know, I increase PR efforts or increase ways to be seen on the map, so to speak, you know, mm -hmm. you want to take advantage of every opportunity that you can, whether that's Google inviting you to add that your information to Google, your Google, my business account, your location, or yeah. whether it's like, you know, creating a proxy map with your business on it and your idea. other favorites, or if it's, you know, who knows, putting your, getting your Yelp account set up or whatever these free opportunities are to increase viewership, you've got to take it as a local business, especially. I love that idea. And, and, you know, obviously I think, you know, using a company like Proxy is going to be fantastic for it and, and it's going to help develop the community on it. But what a, what a unique give back too to the community that if you yeah. put your, if you created a map, or a recommendation list, right, of your favorite, you know, we talked about bakery, hot dog stand, deli, whatever it is that you'd like, yeah. you know, and you build a map like that with your center of business, just because I think it's, it's showcasing everybody else, but you get lifted with the tide at the same. That's way. right. And that's what we found too. That's, that's what we found. Oftentimes when businesses literally put themselves on a proxy map and tag other businesses like hey you know cookie shop next door I put you on my map they then share that cookie shop will then share the map or whatever so it is a form of viral free advertising and a way to bring up it. your community around you as well okay so you brought it up so we have to ask is if I were to create a map is that free or is there a it is free that it's free. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so the power behind proxies that you can head to the site, you can create a map for free. You can add points to it and customize it 
by customize, I mean, brand it to your mm-hmm. brand so that it looks like a, a product that you developed. We don't want the proxy logo on there. You can take that off. You can replace it with your own. Um, we have other ways of driving customers to our site, but uh, yeah, so we, we want you to take that map, make it look like your own. Um, you know, you can customize the icons that appear. You can customize the map background. People have been ultra creative with the way that they visualize um, or create their map. So then that you can add points to it and share it all within about 15 minutes. And it's just such an easy way to portray your local knowledge. I love it. I love it. And, and lift your business at the same time. That's right. So yep. what a, what a unique opportunity to get involved in the community. And, and you mentioned also mm-hmm. the chamber. I think that would be a fantastic opportunity for the chamber to come in and build a network map of its chamber members and right. use it as, as an advertising or leverage tool to be able to say, hey, I belong to the Irvine chamber or I belong to the Seattle chamber. And, and so then what are the other communities around there and get them all involved with that and sharing it out? Plus it's well, something how powerful, I think, yeah. I how powerful say, really would it be for a we're Sorry. talking each other. <laughs> Go ahead. We're so excited. How uh, how powerful would it be for like a chamber to map all their local all the businesses that they partner with and then provide it to people as a relocation guide when they move to the city? I mean, love it. And also to put it on your website, right? It's that simple. It's a digital. Yes. It's a digital copy that could create tools. I mean. Funny enough, when you're thinking about promoting your website, this isn't the conversation, but when you're promoting your website, they want links, they want SEO, they want stuff in it. Boom, if you're linking out to everybody else and you're asking them to link back to you, up up the level you climb by just having a function like proxy and using a neighborhood map. That's Woo. exactly it. And then not only that, but the proxy map uh, typically increases time on page by about 30% uh, because people are excited to click around. They're excited to view what you've recommended. And so that helps you with SEO as well. Oh, I like it. So even more tools that today's business owner can use Mm -hmm. by just creating a map and using it on their website and sharing it out with their friends and the links and everything that could come along with it. And you're building reciprocity, right? You go to the cookie guy and you say, hey, I put, your, I put yours on my map. Would you put me on your map? Here's a link. Go do that. And yeah, crazy. And then, and, and I think through this tool, it all makes sense in the linear direction of search that if I'm on your maps a bunch of times, then search is going to find me because I'm commented on your map a couple times. Right. Yeah. So that's, well, that's, that's true too. And that's a place we're moving in the future. Like how do, how does proxy as a company surface recommendations for people to put on their map? And that's exactly what you're alluding to. And, um, And that's, that's where we'll go is like, okay, we've noticed this engagement from, from this user over another, you know, we would surface that recommendation for someone to place on their map. So I love it. I love it. I think, I think the opportunity to, as you mentioned early, to get viral and come up in an, in a way that showcases your community and showcases your neighbors, lifts you up and and then, and then for fun's sake, you know, next time you want to go someplace, you plot out a map and you tell yes. everybody how to get there and what you've experienced. That's I mean, right. I, like a travel diary is one way that people have used it, just like you said. Another way is to seek recommendations on where to go. So let's say you're traveling to, you know, Palm Springs for the first time and you want to surface your map to your whoever. It could be your entire audience. It could just be your friends, but you can share that link and then people can suggest where you should go on your trip to Palm Springs. So oh, I love it's it. a very I love powerful it. way to source recommendations. And have fun, you know. And have Ex- fun, yes. Exploring. So we, yeah, Exploring we have dozens places. of users who will come back and say, 
we're addicted. We make maps for everything, you know, we make maps for like our Saturday morning to-do list or like, you know, their trip to France or, you know, then take it internal to their business and say, here are the places my business needs to expand to. So um, uh, definitely very versatile. So that was a good question. So this is an international map. So I could go is, to yeah. France and plot out all the spots that I wanted to go to. No more Rick yeah. Steves and, uh, you know, <laughs> I'll have my Funny own you should say that. We're trying to, our dream client is Rick Steves and we're trying to get in touch with him. So we'll put that in the universe. But, um, you know, for something like a Rick Steves book, let's use that example. He like produces these amazing guides to Europe. But when you get to Europe and you're holding a Rick Steves book and you're sitting in your hotel and you're hungry, you're not going to go like flip through this book to figure out where Rick Steves would go. You're going to like walk out the front door and go to the coffee shop. But it would be so much more powerful if you just held up your phone and there were Rick Steves recommendations mapped out. You could just, Ooh. and he's making money off that too, right? Because he of puts course. these places on the map and et cetera. But uh, it's just a better way to navigate. I love it. So we could be our local influencers and, yes. and by playing on the map and creating the places we enjoy and we like, uh, even yeah. as business, we could create a business community on the map that we want and become the influencer for our friends. Yep. That leads that's back exactly to it. potential referrals. Well, that's right. And so uh, we have... <laughs> As you can tell, we have some big plans over here, but one of our plans is to uh, start solving for location-based affiliate links. Now, um, so you could recommend your friends, right? And then when people actually convert, you could receive like a kickback on that conversion, which Ooh. is great because that's your power as a local influencer and someone who has built that network up over time. Um, people, these influencers, whether it be a business or someone these days can make money off product-based recommendations easily through tools like mm. Like to Know It or Amazon affiliate links. But there's no great way to make an, to make money off of like a location-based recommendation or business recommendation. And so you're absolutely right that today a map creator could absolutely make money um, outside of the tool by facilitating these affiliate based conversions but in the future we hope to be able to uh, technologically solve for that too so you can do that all in wow. one spot wow you guys have a big <laughs> have a big, big idea list. coming and and it, it's really good because you know, here we've, we've, we've taken a step back over the past few years and we're all, you know, stuck in our homes. We're getting back out again. We're doing things we want to explore. We want to try new things and things that our friends recommend. So what a better way to do it than plot out a map of those places you recommend or the, you know, and then, and then start sharing them and getting out together, but separately, if, if that's your place, um, you know, if that's how you want to do it, or you organize a group together. Funny enough, um, I'm, I have a small group of motorcycle riders that, that through another networking group, and we're looking for motorcycle ride tr uh, rides together. And so here I'm plot, trying to plot horrifically on Google of where we're going to go and turn left here and how many miles that is so we know and what gas station we have to stop at. But wouldn't this be a whole lot easier to plot it out here and include the mm -hmm. locations and the keys mm -hmm. and we're going to stop mm -hmm. at this bakery and we're going to stop at that gas station. Yes. We're going to have lunch here and look at this viewpoint here. And yes. yeah, that would be so Absolutely. much easier. And so on, on proxy maps, um, you can draw routes along certain roads. If you wish, you can then mark the points of interest where you'll stop along the way. Um, you can mark long locations. So if as a motorcycle rider, ooh, I'm not, not up on that terminology, but whenever you know you find a parking lot that doesn't have an address or a viewpoint that you want to stop at, you can double click in at those lot long points so that oh, nice. when you're out, you know, you can find directions to those points that don't necessarily have an address. Now in the in the short term, we're also adding adding a couple different things that might help 
with a trip like this, like point numbering. So you could number your points one through 10 and then say, hey, we're going to go to point number two next or just, you know, number three, the next point on the line and so on. And then we'll also be adding date time so that you can associate Perfect. a spot uh, like, uh, wow. like an itinerary. Yeah. So, so one more on that kind of line of thinking. Um, hiking is really big here in Southern California and there's some really great hiking trails that you can go on. They're marked out kind of. Um, and then you park at someone's corner of this house and then you yeah. walk up the hill between the fences and off you go. Right. Is that something you foresee or is that something that can be plotted on a You can map? do that today. Yep. So Ooh. if you just zoom in to the map today, you can just double click on where the trailhead begins because oftentimes those are non-discrete, you know, uh, discrete like points when you're out and about. So you can definitely mark that on a map. And if you're, perhaps if you've got your phone with you and you're building out your map for friends, like if you're doing the hike first or in mm. if you have a network that you could recommend the hike to, you can actually just take your phone, double click along the way, add your lat long points, and then send it off to your friends as like, hey, here's the actual record of what to do um, when you're out on the trail. How fun. So there's so many things that we can use proxy for, whether it's for our business, whether it's for community recommendations or chamber, yeah. including um, if it's out doing your kids trick or treating, which was a fantastic story, or you want to go on a hike someplace. I mean, there's a million things that I can, you know, we just got excited and started talking about on it um, that you can do on a map, including putting your business on that map. So that way you're found and you're yeah. recognized um, through your community or your concepts or whatever you're doing. And I love the idea of branding it as well. So just another angle of something you can do to get recognized. So I love it. All right, Chelsea, where can listeners find out more about you and Proxy? Sure. They can find Proxy at Proxy, P-R-O-X-I dot C-O. You don't have the com, so uh, proxy.co. And then you can find us at some variation of proxy co across the internet. Love it. Love it. Um, and it's free. It's easy to use. And you said in just a matter of a few minutes, you can start building your map, right? That's right. Try it out. And as a a business owner several times over, I would love to hear from your audience uh, what feedback they have and uh we're, we're growing quickly. And so I would love to incorporate what they have to say. Perfect. Uh, awesome. Well, we, we do ask for feedback on the, on the show, so that'll be a great opportunity. <laughs> so great. perfect. 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 All right, listeners. Um, thank you for listening. I hope you found a couple ideas to incorporate into your business that will make your business more profitable and get you on the map. Right. Uh, just, it, it's, it just sounds like a fun idea and, and what more ways of getting visibility um, than getting on that map, so. All right, uh, it's never been more important to focus on growing your business with these ideas, you can do it. Don't forget to register for my new masterclass. This 15 minute training is designed to help you grow your business two, three, or even 10 times in revenue and the value of your firm so that you're in a great position to sell it someday some of the benefits are more uh, profits, more free time, and an easier run business. So register for free at www.10xyourfirm.com. You won't want to miss this class. And as Chelsea mentioned, we'd love to hear where you're mapping. Um, give us some feedback. Tell us where, what you'd like to see on your map. Or if you did put your um, business on the map, what did you find out about it? Did you get any comments or did anybody find you? You know, these kind of things help everybody grow. So it's kind of, we all lift uh, with the with the tide. So tell us what you think and um, give, give Chelsea some feedback as well. Don't forget to subscribe to today's podcast as, uh, as you don't want to miss any future shows. And you can catch Profit With A Plan on any of your favorite podcast player. And we're looking forward to more great profitable information on next week's show. So until then, make your plans and profit with them. Thanks so much, Chelsea.